Hi there, and welcome to our series on IGCSE Economics. We're going to start with Unit 1, the basic economic problem. In this video, we are going to cover the basic economic problem, needs versus wants, and factors of production. So let's start by talking about the basic economic problem. The basic economic problem is that people have unlimited wants, but there are limited resources to satisfy these wants. So trade-offs need to be made about how best to use the resources to satisfy as many of the wants as possible. So needs, wants, what's the difference? Well, needs are the things that are essential for people to live adequately. But wants are the luxuries that people desire to make their life more comfortable. Examples of needs are things like food and water, shelter, clothing, and medical needs. Wants, on the other hand, could be something like a steak dinner, a packet of chips, and ice cream. Um, is Wi-Fi a want or a need? That is the strange thing about wants and needs. What may be a want in one place, other people may argue is a need. Try and think about things in your life and see whether you can break them up into wants and needs. Please subscribe to receive notifications of new episodes in this series, as well as check out the quizzes down below and there is a link to a Google Classroom. Our last topic for today will be factors of production. So there are four factors of production, capital, enterprise, land, and labor. I use the acronym CELL, C-E-L-L, -L, to remember them. So first up, let's talk about capital. Capital is everything that is used to produce other goods and services, rather than being used for its own sake. Examples are machinery, tools, and offices. Capital can be further classified into working capital. This is used up in the process of production, things like raw materials and seeds. Or fixed capital, which is longer lasting and not used up in the production process. Things like machinery and warehouses. Secondly, let's talk about enterprise. This is the decision making and risk bearing by an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur has to organize the factors of production, decide what to produce and how much to produce. Some risks in business can be insured against fire, theft, but others such as increases in raw material costs and increases in competition cannot. So thirdly, let's talk about land. The land for farming and building on are obvious examples of this factor of production, but it also includes resources under the land, coal, minerals, metals, the resources on the land, forests and lakes, and the fish stocks in the sea. The supply of land is relatively fixed, but the quantity of resources on it can be changed considerably due to human activities such as mining, fishing, and forestry. The quality of land can be degraded through erosion or loss of soil quality due to intensive farming techniques. Lastly, let's talk about labour. Labour is the human effort used to produce an item, 
both mentally and physically. The supply of labour is determined by the number of workers available for the duration that they can work for. Factors that affect the supply of labour are retirement age, school leaving age, length of working day and holiday entitlements. Please subscribe, like and share. Check out the quizzes in the description below and I hope to see you in the Google Classroom. Bye for now.